2019. I'm Scott Hoke. I host the Meekum Collector Car Auctions on NBCSN, and I know why you all are here, and I'm here for the same reason, because we're about to lay eyes on this 1970 Hemi Roadrunner for the very first time. You want to talk about a rare bird? Uh, this is it, uh, even though the... Uh, you can probably have already seen this on that placard over there. One of four, and the only one in purple Hemi B-body convertible. And I'm here with uh, Tracy Kurtzinger, who is the owner of the car, who picked it up about three years ago. And before that, it had been in storage for about 38 years, right? Yep, 38 years has been in one owner had it. And it was a pretty good car when you got it, yes? It was pretty solid. It had lots of original stuff to the car. Yep. We're going to find out more about that in a minute with Rob, but uh, tell me your thought process in terms of what you wanted to do and how the, you wanted this car to end up. Well, we started out, uh, you know, we just wanted it a little, you know, just to restore it to where a guy could drive or whatever, and then we found out how rare it is, and we decided <laughs> to take it one step further, and then we have to find the right restoration shop, and uh, I was recommended to Rob and uh, Prairie Fire, and we... Uh, we took it to the next level and, and beyond, as you'll see. All right, I want you to go get ready to pull the cover off. Rob, come on in here, and uh, I want to get your thoughts before we see the car. What did this car look like when you first got it? What were your first recollections of it? Well, it looked like a solid car until you get into it. It could always be better, but it was a solid car. Everything was there other than the original motor and so on and so forth. All right. <laughs> You guys want to see it? Are we ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let, let Rob get over there and be a part of this. And I'm going to pull in Jeff Stunkert as well. Get your cameras ready. Here we go. Pull it. Oh, man. Purple, white interior. And there you have it. 1970 Roadrunner, the only... Hemi B body convertible in purple from 1970. Well done, guys. We'll talk more with you here in a second. Jeff Stunkard, my uh, good friend, uh, author, columnist, Mopar expert, he wrote the book on writing the book about Mopars. What do you think about this machine? Yeah, well, I think what's coolest about this particular car is, again, you're looking at a high impact vehicle. And with the Roadrunner name, you have to remember, these were budget supercars, so a lot of people who wanted a convertible, they said, you know what, I'm going to spend my money and get all that extra stuff I get with a GTX as standard equipment. Roadrunner convertibles are pretty unique from that standpoint. Hemi Roadrunner convertibles even more so. And this car obviously shows beautifully. Colors, combination, spectacular, white, high-impact paint. Looks like the options on it are beautiful, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to being able to take a closer look at this car now that it's been uncovered. I've been walking around here for two days looking at this car cover, so I'm not gonna see what it actually is now. So. Did you take a peek underneath when nobody was looking? I did not. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna believe you. Hey, go, go ahead. I, I want to talk more about the paint. Rob, come over here just a second. The, the purple is incredible, but you guys did a lot of work to maintain some of the original paint that's still on this car. Describe that for me. Yes, we kept the original paint on the pillars underneath the trim, inside the door panels, quarter glass, all the original DNA and paint to the car we managed to keep. We didn't just blast it and lose it. So it's kind of unique that way to save the DNA. And there it is. Thank you, Tracy, for popping that hood. We see that elephant motor under there. What was the, what was the most challenging part about this car for you? Just maintaining the originality of the car, trying to save as much possible to the car that was to it, and just make it as nice as possible. Well, Rob is from Prairie Fire Paint up in uh, Alberta, and Tracy Kitzinger also from north of the border. Uh, show and go, uh, and uh, remind me of the guy's name from Show and Go who also had a big part of this car. Corey Alexander helped with a lot of the powertrain detail work. Uh, Bob Sothoff at Radical Restoration had a lot of work to do with the components and all that. And the guys just helped me out, and we managed to kind of do it as a team. And, yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah? Very nice. Rob, thanks very much. Hey, Jeff, come on back over here real quick. Now that you've had a chance to look at it for a minute or two, uh, any thoughts as you go a little bit deeper? Well, 
again, you can see the quality of the restoration. The research was done to make sure the car is, is re replicated and is, uh, is, is put back into its state as built. And it's a beautiful, beautiful job on that. I replicated is a bad word, but the bottom line is, is that the car is, looks like it's done right. And uh, I think the owner's going to be real, real proud to have this. All right. Jeff Stunkert, thanks. Tracy, Rob, thank you guys as well. And thanks, everybody, for coming over.